Hello and welcome everyone to my first Armored Core video. Or my, no, armor, uh, bleh, I can speak. My first Armored Core Verdict Day video recorded with my new mic. Unfortunately, the uh, PS3 itself is actually rather loud, I just noticed. Or especially with the new microphone, I noticed that. And so you can hear it pretty clearly in the background, unfortunately. If that becomes an issue or if. Uh, Basically, just let me know if it's an issue, and I'll switch back to the old mic. It sh I get decent quality of either mic. Uh, the new one is slightly better, but it also picks up more background noise. But regardless, let's talk about large missiles. Today, I have thrown together a big-ass heavy bipedal. Basically, because it's one of the few types of ACs that can actually support large missiles, because they're fucking heavy. But they're awesome. And so, essentially, a large missile, since uh, it's in the shoulder, you can't really see it too clearly. Large missile is a really weird missile. You only get five shots, and the KE attack power is pathetic. But then, you take a look at the explosive force, and that's basically just the damage done by the explosion, and you see it's kind of stupid fuck huge. Like, 10,000 attack power for a single hit is kind of stupid fuck huge. I, would, I think most people would agree that fuck huge is an appropriate word to describe this. So then, a large missile does a lot of damage in a single hit, but you only get five hits. And it has a lot of disadvantages, but the sheer raw damage of it, combined with the fact that you can use this as like a secret like stealth attack because it doesn't make a lot of noise, is kind of hilarious. And that combined with a huge impact means you'll be stunning anyone who gets hit by it. But the um the, the large missile is a fun weapon to use. It's not always the best choice, but it's usually a pretty decent choice if you don't intend on fighting for long. Because even though you're doing 5 hits for stupid amounts of damage, um, if someone dodges those or has a shield or even just you miss for whatever reason, or you're fighting more than one opponent, then uh, you're likely going to run out of ammo for these pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah. So they're really good for short fights. They're, not, they're okay for longer fights if you know what you're doing with them. If your hand, if your uh, handheld weapons can handle the enemies, but they're just really, um, they're a really nice weapon to have available, especially on heavier builds that can support it. But what else? Okay, oh, I was gonna say something. But their drawbacks are pretty obvious. They have a really long reload time of about. What is that? Like, I'm assuming that's like several. Uh, I'm assuming that's like eight or nine seconds before you can even start reloading or something like that. Maybe five. Uh, I'm assuming it's like divided by 60, but if it's not, then whatever. The lock-on time is really long, and you can only fire one at a time, unless you're using double slot shoulders, in which case you can fire two at a time for 20,000 points of fuck huge stupid damage. They also have a fairly reasonable explosion area, which means that if they explode near the enemy because they're shot down or whatever, they're probably still going to do decent damage. On the flip side, that means that if you fire at someone who's firing at you, then there's a chance that their bullets will hit your missile as it's leaving your, um, as it's leaving the little launch area and it'll do a bunch of damage to you instead. So, yeah. Uh, acceleration duration is really high, and the, miss and the missile guidance is really high as well. So, uh, these missiles will chase down your opponents for a pretty decent while, and they're not bad at chasing- they're not bad at catching people that don't know how to dodge them. Because if you just keep running from them, they'll just keep following you. Because acceleration duration of almost 600, I'm assuming that means about 10 seconds. Which is fairly long. So essentially, as long as, like, uh, basically the way you want to dodge is just not by running away from them or by dodging to the side, but rather by um, dodging behind cover so it, the missile hits the cover. But if you don't dodge behind cover, then, well, it's, there's a good chance it's going to keep up with you. The other way to deal with these is to block them with a shield, but that only works so well when you have 10,000 points of attack power. So then, um, large missile is not really an AC, a thing that you can kind of throw onto any AC due to all the limitations it has. But... If you build an AC around it, then it becomes quite interesting. Naturally, because it's fucking heavy, you need to put it on some sort of heavy bipedal, tank, quad, or medium bipedal. Uh, lightweights just don't really handle this very well. They can, theoretically, but they don't. Also, quads don't handle it too well because they're not as good at being stealthy. So, quads usually prefer short range, or not short range, uh, long range missiles that are going to be a little bit stronger in the long run. And the long range missiles are cool because well, long range missiles like uh, vertical missiles, high speed missiles, even some some of the weirder VTF missiles. But uh, essentially, uh, quads usually don't use uh, heavy heavy large missiles because they uh, they don't suit well to quad playstyles. 
Although I could potentially try and build a quad that uses these. That would be interesting. But, um... Heavy bipedals are one of the most common users of uh, large missiles, so if you, see a large, uh, if you see a heavy bipedal that uh, seems to be built very tanky, then they might be having a, they might have a large missile. You can also scan them, and if you see 10,000 attack power, actually, no, you'll, I think you'll see 10,000 attack power, you'll probably see the 320 attack power. But if you see that 321 attack power in the shoulder slot, then that probably means they're using a large missile. Or you can look at the name too, SUGQ01. If you recognize that, that means that they're using a large missile. But, um, builds that work well with this. Since the missiles lock on very slowly, you typically want one of, or you typically want this E28 FCS to, uh, boost up the lock speed so that way it doesn't take forever and a half to lock on. Because 240, I think, is about like 4 seconds with, uh, no lock, with no accelerated lock on. So with 160 lock computation, that brings it down to, I don't know, about a second and a half or so? Which is pretty good. Almost, uh, closer to 2 seconds, but yeah, not bad. So, having a high missile lock computation is really important for using the large missile, just because otherwise you'll never lock on and you'll never get to fire the missile. Although if you're pretty good, you can use other FCSs, it just depends. I wouldn't recommend using a long range FCS with these, you could use a wide angle FCS or one of the quick lock FCSs, although I wouldn't really recommend it. You could make it work, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, um, FCS cover that's pretty much... Basically, the combination of the FCS and the missile, so the high weight and the wide lock FCS, is kind of what determines the type of build that you make with a large missile. And so, if you got a wide lock FCS, that means you don't need as so much turning, so you can uh, build with slower turning. So, heavy bipedals, they don't have the best turning, but they're not bad. And it also means that you have to build for weapons that have quick lock on speeds, like Gatling guns, laser rifles, uh, heat machine guns. Shotguns work well, but um, most heavy pedals aren't quite fast enough to use shotguns. Pulse machine guns work. Pulse guns also work, but again, it's the same problem as shotguns. Heat howitzers work really well since they don't use the lock on at all. Rifles work too instead of uh, Gatling guns. Pistols work really well. What else? Uh, melee weapons obviously all work pretty well. But uh, yeah, basically you want to build your AC with weapons that can uh, work really well with the wide angle with the wide angle FCS that locks on qu pretty slow, or you can build for more of like a short range build and try something else a little bit crazy. But this is kind of a little bit more of like a standard build that I would think of. This is kind of like the type of build you'd put on a UNEC. Um, you just give it easy to use weapons and a really powerful shoulder slot missile. This is kind of a really basic build that I threw together. Now, if we were to build something a little bit crazier, or something a little bit more meta, I would say. I don't really know how the meta version of the build works, but uh, I do know what it is. So I don't know how to really make it work, but whatever, I'll figure it out. Anyway, the meta version of the build is... Strakoza? Strakoza, whenever I find it. There's it is. So another Strakoza. Large missiles. Uh, probably single slot arms. You want to take advantage of. You don't want to, because the uh, the large missile is one of the weapons where you don't want to have double slot arms usually, because uh, as hilarious as it is to do twenty thousand damage to someone, you're also using a lot more ammo more quickly than you would normally. So let's switch this up for a KE core. All right. So, threw all that together. I'm just, I'm just kind of like guessing right now how's that, how this build works. Alright, so I got all that in. And then on the back, I uh, usually see like a shield. If you ever play on the Japanese server, you're almost always going to see shields. I will tell you that right now. Yeah, that's too heavy. Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't know what goes in the last slot. I'll just throw a laser rifle back in. Alright. So, this is one of the really dangerous versions of the build where you basically focus on all attack power all the time. And uh, dual Strakosas is one way to get all of that attack power, and then pretty much anything that you can't touch with a dual Strakosa, 
a missile will kill it. <laughs> or it will at dent the shit out of it. And so these are usually used in uh, groups where you have one guy who has a subcomputer. Uh, subcomputers help out with the missile lock on speed. And uh, it also helps out with the Shikosa lock on speed. And so essentially you just kind of run around and beat the shit out of everyone. Uh, this is another good AC for a eunuch because you just have all of the damage and you're super tanky. You have uh, 38,000 health is a pretty decent amount of health. And so essentially you just run at people and you shoot, it, and you shoot them until they die. That's the gist of it. Really easy to use. In fact, let's go test it. Just to show off how hilarious it is to shoot something with Shikosa's in large missile. Um, I'm not going to fight the tank because the tank can destroy my missiles. So I want to find like a better example of a test target. Uh, we'll do a eunuch. I'll do the eunuch that has howitzers or sniper cannons on it. Probably sniper cannons, because I know how to deal with those a little bit better. Uh, there. Named it Thunder, because I can. Sometimes I wonder if I should write scripts for these, but at the same time, like, I'm really bad at reading off of things. Alright. Hello. Oh, damn. I forgot how powerful sniper cans are. I survived though. Maybe I built this build wrong. There's a pretty decent possibility of that. Yeah, I probably built it wrong. <laughs> also, the sniper cannon tank is owning me. If you, um... Ow. Nope, I'm dead. But, uh... Yeah, sniper cannon tank unix are a pretty good idea if you want to fuck around with some unix because they're hilarious and they hit really hard. But, um... Let's, uh... Let's switch that out for something else. Something I can actually fight and not get wrecked by. Well, I'll probably get wrecked by the Howitzer one too, because I'm a slow ass heavy bipedal and I don't even know how to fucking play. Actually, let's try something else. Let's try the the wide angle. I've, I've never actually looked at one of these builds before, but I know how I know like a little bit about how they work. So let's try the super high uh, lock on speed for missiles. And then I don't even feel like loading the other unit against so whatever, we'll do it again. Hopefully I can just avoid getting wrecked. Or I can use my KE shield and troll the shit out of it. Also, I love how much damage that missile does. But as you can see, it kind of takes forever and a half to lock on. But when I do lock on, I do a lot of damage. Because I'm shooting a really huge missile. Ow. I'm really bad today. Ow. Alright, I killed it. I did it. Clearly the best at this game ever. All of ever. All of the ever. Anyway, uh, let me talk about another build that used to be meta. Uh, it's another heavy by pedal. Yeah, so essentially it's the same kind of idea with where you're just doing damage. Except that instead of like running at people's faces, you have... Um, where is it? This is a really old build, I, I kind of doubt it still works, but I can still talk about it. So essentially you had two shields, and then, uh, was it, they used Gatling guns all the time. Yeah, I think it was actually like this Gatling gun or something. But, um, yeah, basically they would use, like, shields and Gatling guns, and this is a build that's still used a lot on Unix. 
and essentially what you do is you just kind of wall your opponent with shields and you uh, kill them slowly with really high damage. Actually no, the UNEC version of this uses heat machine guns. I think it uses like, yeah, I think it just uses like a heat machine gun and a Gatling gun. And you can actually mount this on like quads and stuff like that because you just kind of slowly float towards people. And float. You slowly float towards people. Float. Back into English, I swear. Oh yeah, you'd get something like this. And then... Let's find out. Uh, that. And then... I don't even fucking know. We're just throwing random shit together. <laughs> yeah, throw together a random AC. Um, but essentially the point is that you just kind of want to cheese the shit out of your opponent by having a shield and continuously plink them to death with either a Gatling gun or a heat machine gun. And then whenever you feel like it... Oh wait, no, I used dual slot arms. I can't do that. Um... I like to know, some of these TE arms are stylish as fuck. Like these are totally like Gundam style arms. I love these. But um, yeah. What I was gonna say is basically that uh, with this build or with the shields and the heavy missile, essentially all you're doing is you're just holding up a shield and kind of blinking them with the Gatling gun to annoy them. And then whenever you get a chance, you fire off a missile, and the missile does all the damage for you. But the Gatling gun does de pretty decent damage. Just it's not like enough damage to really threaten someone, and the he the large missile makes you into a threat. And so some of the squads you see, the Unix, are essentially people that have like four ACs exactly like this, or three ACs like this, and then one human player. And they all just kind of gang rape people slowly. Like they all just kind of like circle around to one guy, and then they all just fire missiles and instantly murder him. And like I said, if you um, like if you're the only one who has these large missiles, then they don't always work too well, just because like you can run out of ammo, people can dodge them. The, the lock on is slow, the missile itself is slow, but um, if you're in a group and you're firing from multiple angles, it's a lot harder to dodge them. And if you get hit by one of them, well, then you just got stunned because you just got hit by a huge ass fucking explosion. And so if you're stunned, then you can't really move as well. And then suddenly you get hit by another large ass explosion and you're stunned. And yeah, so essentially you can get hit by them in like a chain reaction and that can hurt. But, um, what else can I say about large missiles? They're really fun to use. Especially like in this hilarious dual slot build where you fire two at one time. Like, uh, I think I, like, one time I got really bored and I made a tank. Yeah, I made a tank. And I made it a dual slot shoulder tank. Because I was feeling really stupid that day. Whatever. So I threw together like a really silly tank and I put like some hilariously stupid guns on it. Like. No. I think I had like a heat cannon and then. Like a fucking howitzer or some shit. Or no, I might have just been dueling heat cannons. Yeah, I think I was. And then essentially, I just threw that on the back of the walls. Anyway, um, the hilarious part about this build is that essentially it's just like all or nothing. And this is like a hilarious build to use if you want to play in single, uh, not uh, single player, but if you want to play uh, 1v1s with people and you just want to like have like hilariously interesting matches. Because essentially if you can hit them with the heat cannons, then you can stun them. You can hit them with the large missile, and if you hit them with the large missile, they're pretty dead because the heat, between heat cannons and large missile, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. And, um, yeah. You can also do a similar thing by using a regular cannon like the knocker. Uh, yeah, you use a regular cannon like the knocker and do the same kind of thing where you're just kind of like spamming shots everywhere, not really hitting anything. But when you do hit, you hit really hard and you stun them and it's it's dumb. It's really dumb. But it's fun. Oh, switch out the generator. But uh yeah. Uh, large missiles are really fun. They're stupid as fuck, but they're really fun, and if you get used to them, they're really cool. Um, they, they require a lot of creative thinking to really make them effective because of all their drawbacks. 
But if you do make them effective, they're really effective because they just hit fucking hard. So anyway, I think I've been blabbing long enough. Hopefully the audio quality on this is pretty decent. Uh, if there's issues with the audio quality, let me know and I can try to fix it. So then, have a good day. Blow the fuck out of everything. And uh, play Armored Core. It's fun. It's lots of fun.